Hi guys, I hope everyone's having a really good weekend. I know it's been a while since I've done a book review, and I actually have a couple for you this afternoon. So um, let me show you the uh, first review I'd like to, or the first book I'd like to talk about, and tell you a little bit about the author before I actually get into the body of the review. Uh, the book is one I showed you earlier this year. Uh, in my academic book haul, that's what I called it. Um, this is The Tyranny of Guilt, an essay on Western masochism by Pascal Bruckner. Pascal Bruckner is a name you might recognize if you're familiar with some of the, um, I, I guess, print media in Europe. He is, uh, he's French. He's also known for being sort of a a political provocateur. Um, he's sort of, especially in Europe, he's he's kind of right of center. Um, here, he might even be considered a moderate or or maybe even a liberal. But uh, over there, he's he's a pretty conservative, relatively speaking. And he's just sort of like this, as I say in the body of my review, is sort of a political gadfly. Um, so when I saw his name in the Princeton catalog. Um, I, I'd never read anything by him before, and I knew that I wanted to pick this up. Uh, by the way, this is um, this is also the guy you might recognize his name because he wrote the novel Bitter Moon, which Roman Polanski put on film. So um, that's another place you may uh, know his name from. I thought this was a really powerfully argued, in many ways, a persuasive and intelligent book. Uh, that I thought I might actually end up disliking because, like I said, he has this reputation as being this provocateur, this gadfly in Europe. Uh, the subject of the book would also put off a certain kind of American reader who might openly identify with the terms liberal or progressive, uh, especially when it comes to multiculturalism. Uh, in a time when uh, the sort of average French thinker can sometimes be more identified with the obscurantism of, of someone like, uh, you know, Jean Baudrillard or uh, Foucault or Jacques Derrida, or people like that. Bruckner much more closely resembles someone like uh, uh, Raymond Aron, uh, which would position him, like I said, politically at least as a moderate in the United States. Uh, and on the far right, probably, especially in academic circles on the continent. At the heart of Pascal Bruckner's book, he makes the claim uh, that is not meant to provoke so much it, as it is to really get people thinking. He says that Europe has spent too much time, uh, too much of the 20th century, that is, apologizing for its mistakes, like fascism, the Holocaust, the horrors of communism, uh, instead of actually carving out a new path for itself by learning from those mistakes. He says that this apologizing um, can become almost pathologically debilitating. Uh, in a time of bracing secularism, he argues that the guilt of original sin really never left us, that it is that religious feeling of sin is still there, but that it's sort of been transmogrified uh, into a guilt at the former atrocities of colonialism, slavery, racism, genocide, and, and many other horrors and crimes against humanity. Uh, he says that condemnation of these things has become a new kind of civic religion. And he's not saying that these things... Uh, are good. <laughs> He's just saying that apologizing for them and having this, as the title of the book puts it, this tyranny of guilt, which sort of exert, exerts this uh, overarching influence uh, in our interaction with other people and uh, other nationalities, ethnicities, uh, uh, in religious backgrounds, that when that takes total control of the way that you perceive others and you interact with others, that it de debilitates your interactions and, and uh, distorts the, the possibilities that are there. Instead of doing the rational thing, 
which would I think he would say would consist of a sort of dialectical consideration of both our past crimes, which are crimes, and he would admit that, but also an ongoing effort to both correct for those crimes and ensure that they do not occur again. The West, and again, he's talking particularly about Western Europe here, again, Bruckner himself is French. Uh, instead, the West reverts to a kind of childish narcissism, whereby the only way we can uh, salvage any shred of former international importance is to wallow in our own past atrocities. Or, uh, I myself am not European, but Europe's past atrocities. Uh, whether or not you agree with Bruckner's thesis, and I had the feeling that I would learn and appreciate it a lot less than I did for reasons that I said earlier, his writing, uh, even in the English translation, is extraordinarily well-crafted and uh, pretty convincing, too. Uh, a few of the more minor assertions, uh, and I didn't make note of many of them in this review, but he does claim uh, things like uh, that Baudrillard, the uh, French philosopher whom I mentioned earlier, was positively giddy at the bombing of the Twin Towers on 9-11. Um, that struck me as a little dubious, especially he quoted Baudrillard, and I, I didn't really get that impression at all. Um, if someone else has seen another um, quote of Baudrillard's in print and wants to share it with me to prove me wrong, please do. Uh, the general themes, however, brought me on board more than I expected them to. Um, uh, this is said too often and of too many writers, but I think it really is true of Bruckner, that whether you agree with him or not, you'll certainly come away from this book having been challenged, and done so by a writer who, while far outside the European political and academic mainstream in the intelligentsia, he, he eschews extremism, uh, and intelligently questions even his own assumptions, which I think all writers and thinkers more broadly should do. So if any of that sounds interesting, uh, check out The Tyranny of Guilt, an essay on Western masochism by Pascal Bruckner.